Hey everybody, R.A. Beata here with Breed Love Guitars. I'm at Sweetwater. I'm here with my friend Ford Thurston. What's up? We're gonna check out Jeff Bridges' new signature model, the Oregon Myrtle Myrtle Concerto. Yeah, man. Amazing guitar. The dude abides. Yeah, what do you what do you what do you think? <laughs> just um it just feels like the guitar was never made. It like fell off the tree. That's what it feels like to me. Like it just fell off the tree. And I haven't plugged it in. We're just micing it up right here right now. I can't imagine what this thing would sound like. But really beautiful too. I mean, look at the color on that. It's just it's the bourbon the bourbon burst picked bourbon by burst. Mr. Jeff Bridges for his signature model. Wow, it's so cool. Yeah. We're all in this together, right? Indeed. What, what's going on with this guitar? So that is the Concerto body shape. That's our largest body shape. That would replace a Dreadnought, which mm -hmm. I'm sure you love. Played many models. Dreadnoughts, yeah. yeah man. So Dreadnought shape, it's going to be a little comfier. Mm -hmm. It's going to have that big, bold sound, but a yeah. little bit more nuanced, a little bit more note-to-note -note clarity. Right. Oh, Which man. you could hear there when you're picking. And I'm really, really um, picky about frets too, and, huh? and uh, don't, it, like almost transparent. Like I wasn't even thinking about it because it's just right. The size is right, but also oh, just gosh. the way they're put in. I'm real picky about that. Like the fret jobs are meticulous on this. Like so. you don't notice them unless they're wrong. Yeah, when they're wrong, you know it. Yeah, you yeah. know, and uh, sure. the neck shape is great. Obviously, a really beautiful the fretboard material. What is this? So that's ebony. Okay, right. Ebony on the top, just real dense, real strong, it's real beautiful. Great. That's a that's a maple neck. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's, that's gonna you know if you've been playing a lot of electric yeah. your whole life, you'll you'll feel something kind of familiar there mm -hmm. with that kind of that maple neck. Yeah. Uh, I'm noticing uh, too that the guitar really stayed in tune really well. Just uh, getting ready to shoot this video and stuff, just yeah. beating on this guitar. Oh yeah, man. and also. The guitar doesn't seem to compress too hard. Like, you know, some guitars, you smack them hard and they kind of dip like a compressor. Yeah. This guitar can take the beating, you know? Well, and so this body shape is going to help you with that. And that's mm -hmm. what it's engineered to do, that heavy strumming and, and to really get that out of it. But also that myrtle wood on the top yeah. and the back and the sides, that myrtle wood's a lot denser than, say, Sitka spruce, some of the other spruces we'd use. So that top lets you hit it a little bit harder. Oh, wow. And you can, you can hit it and get more out of it like that. Yeah, look at this thing. It's beautiful. I mean, it's weird, weird because we have some Myrtle wood guitar around here somewhere, yeah. and I uh, was looking at that and not realizing that you could finish those as well. You Myrtle can stain wood. them and do whatever, right? Myrtle so, wood has a lot of looks, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you would just think that's just an amazing piece of wood just looking at it. Lots of depth. Yeah, and that's the fun thing with Myrtle. I mean, really, you can feel like you're almost, well, you are getting a, almost a custom guitar because every piece is like a fingerprint. They're all, they're all real different. Fascinating. So um, what goes on with the sound hole size and all that stuff? Do you have different sizes for different guitars? And We do. So when we engineered mm -hmm. these, this new shape, this concerto shape, mm -hmm. we did a couple things. You'll notice on the back on the lower bout, it's, okay. it's wider on the lower bout back here. Uh, than it is up oh, at the, okay. the yeah, upper yeah. belt. So it's tapered. I got gotcha. you. Uh, that's going to force that Super. the sound waves forward into the guitar. Right. Um, when we built the shape, we got it really close. We were playing them in the shop, and it was close, but it, the fundamental frequency that we wanted to achieve wasn't there. So we used our sound optimization process. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of analysis. We, understand, we, we got to the conclusion that if we would shrink the sound hole, we could reach the, the fundamental frequency we wanted. So a lot of engineering went into that body shape to make this exactly what we wanted. Well, you have done some real great engineering work because this is a knockout. And, you know, I played, there's three different versions of this guitar though, right? Like you have it in different lines. You have the, the antique yep. line, so you have different price points for the different guitars too, and yeah, for sure, for right. sure. And this this is made in this the custom is the shop. 
Yeah, this is made in the custom shop in Bend, Oregon. This USA made. Amazing uh, guitar. I mean, I'm really blown away. This is like another level uh, of instrument that thank you. I'm not used to playing. I, I have, uh, I'm embarrassed to even tell you like some of the guitars I've had to play in my life, but uh, this, this is something to remember right here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's sustainable and clear cut free. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can know that you're, you know, not only playing a great guitar, but you're taking care of the world's forests and keeping them top of mind when you're playing. It's trees, man. Yeah, trees, man. That's what Jeff <laughs> said. It's like a piano. That's that when we talk about note to note clarity. Oh, yeah. A lot of times you play a dreadnought and it's a wall of sound coming out and you yeah. kind of lose the nuance of those different notes. Thing, yeah. Thirds usually are a big problem on guitars, mm. you know? Yeah. I'm not really getting that from this. It's like, the way, wherever you put this bone is amazing. You're spot on. It's like really, my ear feels like, I record a lot of music, and this guitar is one that you want to record with, so. Yeah, and we, you know, we hear a lot of, a lot of engineers will talk about Myrtlewood. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of the breed dev guitars they'll, they'll speak, they'll speak highly of, but Myrtlewood in particular, they'll really talk about how balanced, how clean it is, how little work they have to do. Yeah you know, afterwards yeah. in the studio. Um, but a lot of what you're, you're speaking to, the, the setup, the intonation, all sure, that. Sure, it's killer. That starts, you know, in the custom shop with, uh, you know, just- Keep those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep well, those guys. a lot of them, are, you know, yeah. a handful of them have been there for, you know, over 20 years. Wow. I'll tell you what, they're like Keebler they, elves. They figured out what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're making good chocolate, that's good. Thank you so much for designing this guitar. Hey man, Fantastic. thanks for thanks oh, for bringing Ron, it. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it to life. Man, it sounds so good. good. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Jeff Bridges Signature Oregon Concerto CE Myrtle Myrtle. If you have more questions, make sure you contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, or you can learn more at Sweetwater.com. Thank you. <laughs>